Hello chess friends and welcome to the Zalov Chess channel and welcome to my new series how to spot tactics in chess. So I'm really excited to do this series because uh, with this basics in chess series that I've also created on my YouTube chess channel, I think it's uh, one of the most important things uh, because uh, you see I have also created this chess tactics and chess puzzle series in which I show you all of the possible tactical motifs that can happen in a chess game and we'll do many many more uh, tactical motifs, we'll do also in, um, a sort of um, uh, mating pattern recognitions but this uh, series is really important because uh, here in this series I'll show you uh, how to recognize uh, the possibility to create a tactical motif in a chess game because there are these uh, pattern recognitions uh, in the middle game it can also happen in opening you'll see now in this couple of examples in which your opponent creates this uh, weak weaknesses uh, we'll call them situations here in, in, in this series and today I wanted to show you this uh, blocked out situation or this blocked out weakness in which your opponent has blocked out all of his pieces with its, with uh, with his own pieces and that should be really sort of a trigger for us uh, in order to search for a tactical shot. It doesn't uh, work all the time but at least you have to consider while playing chess uh, the possibility to create a tactical shot in, 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 in the position because uh, you see when you're solving this chess puzzles at home you know that uh, there are uh, tactical possibilities but here uh, while playing a chess game while playing a common chess game well sometimes you don't recognize that you had uh, pos uh, tactical possibilities and in this series I think will improve our tactical skills here so let's see now this blocked out situation uh, let's see now white pieces and let's see now black pieces uh, you see we have a queen on a4 by white uh, bishop on c4 and a knight on f3 so these are pieces are really uh, well placed uh, they are sort of an attacking formation and watch out now black pieces they're really here a uh, little bit blocked out and I used to call them uh, in many many of my chess videos I used this uh, used to say in this um, types of um, setups it's sort of a, a crowded situation around the king so when you see this crowded or this blocked out situation you have to search for uh, tactical ideas you see um, this king on on e8 doesn't have breathing space at all uh, it's also an endangered king because black hasn't castled and we'll do this endangered king in the center also in in this series so we have here sort of a double motif uh, we have here this blocked out situ situation and an endangered king in the center so let's uh, search our for for uh, our tactical possibility here you can pause the video of course and try to solve it uh, for yourself but of course it's the move bishop on f7 after king takes on f7 we have uh, knight on g5 uh, king on uh, g8 queen on c4 we have maybe e6 but now queen on e6 and now uh, here king on uh, f8 and then here queen on f7 with a very nice checkmate so here after bishop on uh, bishop on uh, f7 if uh, the king plays here on f8 then we can simply go back with our bishop and try to checkmate here maybe through c4 but it's really really now a complicated complicated game for black because uh, the king will never castle uh, anymore in this in this game and of course uh, white will continue the game with uh, with a better position so let's go back again uh, let's see now this very very weak formation here by by black's pieces this so-called blocked out position here we have the queen the no the knights are uh, blocking each other out the bishop is also blocked out by the, by its knight we have only here uh, the f8 square for the king uh, really really crowded situation and this crowded situation should be really sort of a trigger for you in order to recognize a potential uh, tactical shot so um, you should be also familiar with the setup uh, knight on f6 knight on d7 and the bish uh, bishop on c8 whenever you see this uh, types of uh, setups by black uh, you should search for this common f7 sacrifice uh, this is really really important because uh, it happens really often i've seen intermasters uh, getting crushed uh, with this uh, common f7 sacrifice by the bishop so see when you see this bishop on c8 knight on d7 and knight on f6 you should really consider your uh, tactical possibilities in your in your uh, game so let's see now another 
example. Here is a game, uh, it's one of my own games, and uh, here I want you to again realize black's formation of pieces and white's per formation of pieces. So here uh, you see uh, we have now very, very uh, nice formation, bishop on f4, knight on f3, uh, bishop on d3, very well placed, knight on c3, queen on c2. Meanwhile, let's see now black's formation here. Um, Black has here the uh, really blocked out again this bishop on c8, uh, knight on d7, and knight on f6 uh, setup with the bishop on. Um uh, bishop on e7, the rook is uh, blocking out the queen, the queen doesn't have uh, breathing space at all, and in the last move, uh, my opponent uh, uh, played this move a5. So, uh, it's, it was also sort of a part of my preparation against the queen's gambit declined. Uh, here the common move uh, by, by black would have been maybe knight on f8, which is the common move in, in this queen's gambit decline setup, liberating the bishop. You see, this would be a perfect move, maybe Maybe here for black, but with this uh, a5, um, well, black made a mistake, and uh, I wasn't uh, I wasn't sure uh, immediately that uh, that I had tactical possibilities here. I just recognized that my opponent didn't play this common move, uh, knight on f8, and then I uh, watched a little bit further in this position, and I saw that these pieces are really really uh, blocked out. They're not uh, where well placed the queen has only two squares here uh, you see it's uh, the most often blocked out situations happen when when your queen when your opponent's queen or the king doesn't have breathing space here the queen has only two squares and that's not a good position of course for the queen the queen has to has to have um, uh, nice diagonals nice nice files uh, we should of course use the queen like that here the queen with these two squares is a little bit endangered and you can also pause the video and try to find uh, this tactical shot which I recognized in the game and it's the move knight on b5 so if c takes b5 of course we have bishop on uh, bishop on c7 trapping the queen so uh, if uh, rook on f8 uh, is played then we have bishop on uh, c7 the queen you see because of this blocked out situation the queen doesn't have breathing space at all uh, queen on uh, e8 has to be played now knight on d6 bishop on d6 has to be played again bishop takes on d6 and now we can simply uh, take out this rook in the next move and uh, i'll i would uh, i will continue of course the game uh, with a better continuation with this uh, with this better exchange of pieces so let's go back again after this a5 uh, which was part of probably sort of a preparation maybe to play b b5 b4 but it was really a mistake by my opponent and uh, i hope you realize this really really weak um, setup here by black the pieces are again i'm using this term really too crowded here we have again this crowded situation and uh, of course this tactical uh, shot is i think uh, a nice one uh, so let's see now uh, another position and it's a famous game uh, it was played by uh, robert james fisher against the uh, samuel reshevsky and again i hope you realize white's formation here and black's uh, formation of the pieces again black has this blocked out situation the knight is uh, here on e8 uh, the bishop is blocked out uh, the rook is uh, doesn't have uh, breathing space the bishop is okay uh, here but uh, the more important thing is this knight on a Five. This knight on a5 is blocking out the queen here. The queen again doesn't have any uh, breathing space at all. It uh, the queen has again only two squares here on b6 and c7. And here can you can also pause the video and try to find your tactical shot here. So of course uh, Robert James Fisher, one of the best chess players in history, one of the best tacticians in history, finds this move. Bishop takes on f7. Uh, again, this very very annoying attack. After king takes an f7, we have here strong move knight on e6. If the king uh, captures, then uh, we have a forced uh, checkmate sequence. But here, uh, Reshevsky played d takes uh, e uh, d takes e6, and now queen takes on d8 can be played. Although uh, uh, black continued to play here with knight on c6, uh, Fisher managed to win this game, but it was uh, lost anyway uh, already in move in move 10 after this bishop on f7. So if um, 
here uh, the rook captures then you see this problem uh, here again knight on e6 and the problem is that the queen doesn't have again uh, any uh, breathing space here the queen has only the c7 b6 and this knight on a5 is uh, blocking our uh, its own queen and uh, we have again this blocked out situation uh, in the opening and you see um, a very very effective uh, game here by the legendary bobby uh, let's see now another example. Uh, again, we have this crowded situation or this blocked out situation. Here, uh, it's a game uh, between Yero and Piquet against uh, the legendary uh, Gary Kasparov here with the black pieces. And uh, let's uh, see now Black's, uh, Black's pieces. They're perfectly fine. They're in attacking formation. Uh, again, White has this blocked out, uh, this crowded situation. It's really, really this night uh, is it was sort of a uh, preparation here for white this is a common move in the king's indian uh, for white here in this orthodox line uh, with this knight on e1 which was uh, which is a preparation to get a tempo i've explained it in my king's indian videos uh, but this knight on e1 uh, can be sometimes a problem because in some occasions uh, black can escape uh, white can escape with this king maybe through the squares f2 and then after that through the square e1 but that's not possible because the king is here blocked out by its own po uh, pieces here and uh, now we have this crowded situation after knight on c7 which was the last move here by Jeron Piquet of course the legendary Gary Kasparov didn't react here and he, he played the move g3 so if you play h takes g3 then we have uh, here very very nice uh, sequence f takes g3 bishop takes on g3 and then and then knight on h5 uh, if uh, the knight uh, mo uh, takes out this uh, rook on a8 then we have knight on g3 and uh, it's basically lost game because we can infiltrate in the position with uh, queen on h4 and then is also uh, bishop on h6 uh, white has too too many problems on dark squares and uh, white, uh, black has a completely uh, winning winning game here so after um, g3 knight on a8 was played anyway by Jero and Piquet but now we have a very strong move again knight on h5 here uh, king on h1 was played if uh, if you try maybe uh, here uh, again h takes uh, h takes uh, g3 then we have also uh, knight takes on g3 bishop takes on g3 but now f takes g3 and again uh, queen on h4 uh, and then here this checkmate possibilities and again i'm pointing you out uh, in this line you see white is again blocked out with his own pieces uh, this crowded situation is really really uh, a huge weakness in white's position the uh, white king doesn't have breathing space at all so you see we can all, uh, also here sacrifice some pieces some knights some rooks uh, and uh, of course uh, the legendary gary recognizes this uh, tactical shot so let's see now the continuation effort king, king on h1 we have um, a, uh, g takes f2 rook takes on f2 but now again knight on g3 uh, after uh, king on g2 we have key, uh, queen takes on a8 uh, now bishop on c4 and you see now white's problems uh, white is trying to creating some breathing space for the king probably also moving the rook here on the c file and then escape with the king but that's not possible because uh, kasparov played here uh, a6 now a queen on d3 and now queen on uh, a7 creating the spinning situation on the king and uh, here uh, b5 was played a takes b5 bishop takes on b5 uh, b and here a very strong move knight on h1 in this position Jero and Piquet uh, resigned because in the next move he will simply lose the rook uh, we can also take out the bishop here and uh, black will continue uh, the game with one piece up and a completely winning end game so I hope you realize these ideas uh, in of this blocked out or, or this crowded situation. You see, um, this is really a um, common weakness in, in your opponent's position. And this is sort of a pattern recognition which you have to use in your, in your own chess games. Because, as I said, sometimes we don't uh, recognize tactical pos possibilities in a chess game. It happens also to me. It happens also, you see, uh, to top grandmasters. Uh, but uh, with this uh, with this pattern with this blocked out situation i think uh, you can recognize it sometimes in your own games 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. We will continue this very important series uh, with this pattern recognition, with this, um, that's, uh, with this, um, uh, how to use your tactics in, 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 in middle games. And you can, meanwhile, you can watch my other uh, chess tactics and chess puzzles uh, videos if you want to be familiar with all of the possible tactical motifs that can happen in the chess game. And you can also watch my basics in chess series with some opening principles, middle game strategies, and the end game strategies. Thanks you for watching, guys. Chess is the best, of course.